picked up the cat, Iowa, Louisiana. We're here at Power Implements. Boat's ready to rock. The cat's ready to go. We're fixing to hit it. Venice, Louisiana. Here we come. You ready, Alicia Corville? I'm ready. Let's get it. because he's hungry. <laughs> Check this out, Case Mikado. Just two of us. How cool is this place? <laughs> I have no idea. Little G's. Big G's. Little New Orleans music going. I gotta get Alicia Whisper sandwich. Alright. <laughs> Go ahead. Good? Mm hmm. Ooh, look at that. Get you some more water. Look at that. It's the most beautiful sandwich on the planet. Alicia Corville, check this out. We just got here. We're in a little town called Burris. Uh, it's probably 20 minutes uh, down from Venice, Louisiana. And check out what we find, a boat ramp. There's a boat ramp right here, Alicia Corville. Unfortunately, there's a tropical storm or something out in the Gulf right now. And look at the tide. The tide is just gone up. Not only that, this is private property. This 
only makes sense to get out and meet people because they'll let you launch at their private boat ramps on the Mississippi River. I say I'm going in there. Alicia says I'm going by myself. We'll find out. Stay tuned to Where's the Fish? Louisiana, right up from uh, Venice, we're fixing to hit the water and do some fishing, but yet we got Austin here at Patty's B and B. Tell us, tell us a little bit about you, Austin. What a little bit about you? Are you you're from here? Born and raised, 1957, right here. Oh, wow. 65 years of my life, right here in Buras. Uh, I bought this place in '97. Uh, Doing good with it as a thrift store. Then Katrina came along here, destroyed it, and then I've been working on it for a good while, and then we named it Patty's Place. I didn't come back, uh, but the, but the you know the, a lot of them did, and you know we're the same way. We're on the coast in Texas, and yeah, it's hard it's hard to leave a place you love. You know, it's hard mm -hmm. to leave uh, some place that you just you know I'm going to rebuild. It's hard to pull your roots up and move on. Like I say, uh, this is the best life in the world to be, be here, but every time a storm comes, people disappear and don't yeah, come back. Yeah. And it's getting worse and worse. Katrina was the worst one, and the BP all spill came along with another one. Yeah, yeah I keep hearing about that. I'm still here. Yeah, you're still here. Hey, man, we love it. You've done a great job out here. So tell us a little bit about, it's a bed and breakfast. Tell us a little bit about where we are um, on the map. How do we get here? Well, when you leave New Orleans, get on Bell Chase Highway, head south, longest road in the world to get here, but we here, uh, this building here. You know, we talked about that earlier. We talked about that yesterday, Alicia. You talked about how long the road is. You can't find a place to stay out here. I mean, we were three three weeks a month out, and there's no place to stay. And they're booked. Everything's booked. So there must be a lot of people well, coming down this long road. People come down here fishing, trawling. Some come to the oil spill, to the, I mean, the oil field to work. Yeah. And then you got that LLG plant kicking up. That's bringing 500 and something people here, which is a great thing. Right. But it's only temporary. Yeah. Um, okay, so so you how many rooms do you have here? You look like you had, what, five, six? I got five rooms. Five rooms. We ran out, you know, pretty much constantly. I'd like to have more. But I only could have put, I actually put seven rooms in here, but I got my family living here too. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so got a Facebook page, a website, how can people got it, go? Got it. It's on a website. Uh, my daughter got all that put out on the website. You can look us up on it. Um, we've been established now almost 17 years. Well, actually 14 years yeah and you're right on the mississippi mississippi river you see a cruise ships pass every yeah yeah that was, week twice a cool. week yeah all kind of ships pass all kind of activity matter of fact we've even had the ss new york that was built out oh, of the world right. trade center passed three times right in the backyard yeah because you got it to get up to new orleans and anywhere else you got to come up this canal you come up the mississippi yeah. river to get to new orleans and you got to get down to get yeah up to come out how awesome is that? Hey guys, y'all need to come out, see Austin, check out this place, and like he says, man, the fishing we're hearing is unbelievable. We're going to find out today. Hey, stay with us on Where's the Fish. Austin, appreciate it, brother. Thanks a lot. I'm back. Fish, we are in Duras, Buras, 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 Louisiana. We're not far from Venice. We're staying next door. The Black Velvet with Byron. We're gonna find out what's going on here at the Black Velvet. I got uh, Byron. 
How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Tell everybody where we're at. We're in Buras, Louisiana. My name is Byron Marinovich. We're here in Buras, Louisiana, Plaquemines Parish, the southernmost part of the state. Uh, Mississippi River right behind us. Gulf of Mexico right on the other side. Okay, so we're here. We got Mississippi right behind us. How long have you been here? How long you said you've been here to, since? You I was born. born and I was born and raised here in 1962. Uh, I've lived here all my life. I went to school in New Orleans and Baton Rouge. But other than that, I've been here all my life. Uh, we've had a little hiatus when, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, when Hurricane Katrina came through in '05, and we stayed a, a few days in uh, Bell Chasing in New Orleans just to get away from the storm itself. We had about 30 foot of water, 25 foot of water in here. I don't know, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that levee behind us, and I don't know how it looks on camera, but you were saying it was 11 feet higher. Right. This this levee this behind levee. us, uh, the mean height of this, this levee in this area is 17 and a half foot, and we figured that the water was roughly 11 foot over the height of that levee, so it just came up all the way through here. It's like the, the, the levee didn't even matter. No, I mean, it did not matter. Thank at God all. for the levee, but but it didn't even matter. Yeah, between that and winds of probably close to 200, they said we only had 120 mile an hour winds which seems a little strange to me since we, they're pushing 25 or 30 foot of water. You need yeah. some serious wind to push that. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's talk about the Black Velvet. It's a restaurant. It's yes, a sir. bar. What all, what, what all goes on here at the Black Velvet? We have uh, most seafood, steak, dinner kind of place, family atmosphere. Uh, we have a full stock bar with about 130 different type of liquors. We normally have oysters here, like half shell and fried oysters. We've been having a lot of trouble the past five or six months. The prices of one thing, but also so where are we exactly? Say, if I was coming from, I don't know. Uh, I know. That I think this main road out here is 23. Correct. Uh, we're probably 85, 90 miles south of New Orleans right now, southeast of New Orleans. Uh, you're about 15 miles from south, uh, north of Venice, and uh, if you want to go to the end of the river from Venice, you probably get another 27 to 28 miles to get to the Gulf from Venice. And then the street. What is the street here? This is Highway 11, Highway 23 is the other street on the four lanes you came so up. So if I took a left right here. You're on Highway 23. 23, and then you're, and then this one here is 11. It's Highway 11. 11. It's a parish highway. So is there a website? Is there a Facebook page? Is there any we way you can go online? We have a Black Velvet uh, uh, restaurant site. Uh, we also have a presence on Facebook, as most people do now. So So they can go with just Black Velvet? or BlackVelvetRestaurant.com, I believe okay. it is. All right. Thanks, uh, hey, man. It's these like little, little hidden gems, you know. Alicia was like, "Yeah, I, I can live out here. I can live out here." Uh, we haven't seen it all yet. We're going to Venice in the morning. Looks like you said it's just right down the road. We'll fish Venice in the morning, but um, uh, we drove around. Uh, you know, I wanted to get into Mississippi. At least I got my toes in it. <laughs> Water's still a little cold. But, yes, it uh, is. But uh, oh my gosh, anything else? Anything else you got? You, what, you got anything going on? Uh, no, we, we uh, open six days a week. Uh, there's not a lot to do down here. It's, you know, uh, some things you might want to look at. We have Fort Jackson down the highway. It's five miles from here. Uh, I think the fort's actually closed. The Paris closed it for some reason. It was built in the 1820s, 1830s. Uh, also, Fort St. Philip across the river uh, was built by the Spanish in the late 1700s. Uh, you really, that's not accessible at all because it's full of snakes and all. Oh, yeah. uh, fort Jackson was actually built under President ja Andrew Jackson's term. Uh, PGT Beauregard, the Confederate general, was actually the engineer for it. Wow. So, um, yeah, she really? did. Yeah. And uh, there's not a lot here. Like I said, I just showed you a couple of buildings we have here. Most everything else has been wiped out here. Uh, the Woodland Plantations are uh, probably 35, 40 miles up the road. That was built in around 1835, and that's a, the house you see featured in the Southern Comfort Bottle. Yeah. And yeah. he runs a really nice place. You know, it's, a, right. it's an old plantation looking place. Right. It's yeah. a really nice place. It's not a lot to do. It's a really beautiful place to stay, and uh, the hunting, the fishing, I mean, it's berry picking, I mean, we have alligators. And it's one of the few places in the world that you can come to and fish for freshwater species, go out a little ways over here and fish for saltwater, you know, flounder, right. or redfish, and go out further and, in, the Gulf. And, in the Gulf and catch yeah. whatever, you know. We just walked around earlier, right, Alicia, and we talked to a couple of fishing guys, we talked to some visitors that are down here staying in a couple of different rooms and cabins. Uh, two, I mean, from Alabama. What was the other one from Missouri? Was it Missouri? Branson, uh, Branson, Missouri. I mean, there was guy people from all over, and I was like, you know, there must be something about Venice because these people from all over the United States. Well, the thing we always coming here. down here for 
The thing we always say here is uh, you can go fishing just about anywhere, yeah. but you're going to catch fish here. Well, I'll tell you what, that's what we said about Grand Isle. So we'll find out tomorrow. We, <laughs> we have people coming in from the restaurant. Sometimes I'm really shocked, uh, all 50 states and so many different countries. I mean, we met a lot after the BP spill, but and I started kind of asking, but now just thank God that's over with. But we've got a lot of people coming in. I mean, we've met people from China, all over Europe, uh, everywhere in Asia. It, it's just kind of really, you know, Africa, just everywhere. It's really kind of, it's really interesting to meet yeah. a lot of these people, yeah. you know. Oh, it is. We enjoyed it. We had a great time. Byron, appreciate it. I appreciate We're going to go down there. I saw you had frog legs on that menu. We got good frog legs. And uh, going down and after the show, I'm like, yeah, well, get a frog leg. Alicia's going for what? They got a full boy uh, roast beef sandwich down there? We got good roast beef. Oh, my gosh. Not another one. <laughs> Brother, appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you very yes, much. Sir, and good, nice meeting you. I hope you all yes. come to see me again. Yes. Oh, hey. We ain't leaving. Alicia Corville, enough of interviewing. Let's get out of here to Venice and let's catch some fish, man. We have been hearing the fishing out of here in Venice. We are about to find a bait camp, a boat ramp. We're going to put the boat in the water, the cat, and we're going to catch some fish. Or what, Alicia Corville? Oh, My name ain't Keith Mikado. Let's get. <laughs>